Welcome to today's class. In this lesson, we are going to be talking about environmental hazard 3. Jim and Sikirula address my name. Introduction. Environmental hazard can be defined as any activities that can destroy the natural environment and adversely affect human health. Examples include bush burning, flooding, de deforestation, desertification, etc. In this lesson, we are going to be focusing on desertification and ozone layer depletion. Let's proceed to desertification. Desertification refers to a process by which fertile land productive regions in productive regions becomes infertile or be referred to as desert, typically as a result of drought, deforestation, inappropriate agricultural practices. It is also the degradation of dry land areas. Let's proceed. Causes of desertification. Number one, we have deforestation. That is a process by which the, uh, the, the, the trees are cutting down for various uses, be it for construction purposes or any other purposes. And at the same time, there is no one that was replaced. Maybe maybe they didn't practice what we call afforestation they don't plant another tree in replace of the one that has been cut we also have what we have what we call bush burning we have over grazing we have over cultivation that is continuous cropping on a particular piece of land so this will expose the surface of the land to erosion and then at the end of the day the, the, the soil will become infertile. Let's proceed. Effect of desertification. Number one, migration. We have soil degradation. We have food loss and also loss of biodiversity. You know, in a situation whereby a, a, a particular region that is uh, that has a large amount of uh, biodiversity, be it plants or animals, in a situation whereby they are exposed automatically, they will have some of them will leave the that particular environment or die. That in that in that scenario, that's why we have a loss of biodiversity. Another, let's proceed to control of desertification. Number one, we have deforestation, that is replacing of cutting trees. The placing of cutting trees that is it does the opposite opposite of deforestation deforestation and we also have what you call afforestation that is planting of a new tree where there is no tree before we also have crop rotation this is this will improve soil fertility and increase productivity is in this from one of the picture that you are seeing there you will see that various crop type or uh, things that can be planted were shown in three dimensions in that place. So, in this, in, in, so crop rotation is practiced by ensuring that if series plants are planted this particular year, by next year they will plant another one, be it leguminous crop or other type of crop. In that scenario, there will be a uh, replenish of various uh, soil nutrients in that process. We also have what we call mulching and we also have education in particular. So if uh, people are educated on the, on, the, on the effect of adverse effect of desertification, they will not just be doing things that can lead to desertification. Let's proceed depletion of the ozone layer. Ozone layer is a layer of ozone gas that is O3. The molecular formula of ozone, ozone gas is O3 in the atmosphere and it is, it is 20 to 30 kilometers in the stratosphere above the earth's surface. That is, note that we have five divisions of the atmosphere that is exosphere, thermosphere, mesosphere, stratosphere and troposphere. And this particular ozone layer is located in the stratosphere. Uh, 
around 20 to 30 kilometers above the earth's surface. The function of this particular ozone layer is that it protects the earth against the ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Ozone layer depletion occurs when certain chemicals break up ozone molecules and render it unable to absorb ultraviolet radiation. The main chemicals that cause ozone depletion are chlorofluorocarbon, that is, they are that are used as refrigerant in air condition and in fire extinguisher. This led to the ban of the chemical in 1980s when it was discovered by the scientists that the ozone layer is getting thinner. Importance of ozone layer. Ozone layer stops and or absorbs the ultraviolet radiation from the from reaching the surface of the earth. The radiation have various effects, which include number one, skin cancer. It also have effect on eye cataract. It also have a cause eye cataract. It also causes global warming, and this is caused by accumulation of carbon four oxide in the atmosphere. Increase in this carbon carbon four oxide in the atmosphere leads to a, a process called greenhouse effect. The process by which heat from the sun can come to the surface of the earth but cannot be radiated back to the atmosphere. Increase in this increase in this temperature of the earth, which will also lead to melting of the ice, which makes water bodies to overflow and cause flooding. How to limit depletion of ozone layer? Number one, education. That is, educate people about the importance of the ozone layers. Number two, regulate the use of ozone depletion substances ODS that is uh, that is uh, chlorofluorocarbon number three safely discard the old refrigerator and air conditioners summary of our discussion we give we define as an environmental hazard as any activities that can destroy the natural environment and adversely affect human health and desertification as the degradation of land that is caused by climate change and also by other human activities. And we also said that desertification can be controlled by afforestation, deforestation, control of agricultural practices by using crop rotation, mulching, and other activities. We also said that ozone layer is a layer in the stratosphere that helps to absorb ultraviolet radiation from reaching us in the Earth's surface. And we also said that certain chemicals react with, with, with ozone molecules and render it thinner and adversely reduce its power of absorbing ultraviolet radiation. Let's look at the assignment. The assignment is that draw a map of Nigeria and show at least seven states that is prone to problem of desertification. Also, list five division of atmosphere. Thank you for listening.